And if I took a loss, I'm a boss in my hood Whoa. I'm sounding like I'm boss in the hood Double cross me, I leave you on the cross in the hood I'm good, I got new money What's good, my peoples? Please, please, please follow my socials. They are tagged down below. Also in the description box. If you got any questions about these shoes or any shoes I review on my channel, you might want to hit me up on my socials, preferably Instagram, all right? And um, while you at it, hit that like button, hit that bell, drop a comment. Most importantly, subscribe to the channel, especially if you like my content. Let's run these numbers up, all right? Without no further ado, let's get straight into it. I haven't done this one of these in a while. I'll get back to it. Um, you know, you know I got that heat. We're gonna do a real verse fake right now. On the left, we got the retail. On the right, we got the fake. And which one is it? It's, it's the true blue threes. Now granted, they don't make a good, a solid um, fake true blue threes. So follow this steps I'm gonna show you and you won't get scammed if you're out there buying a true blue three, all right? You can see the box, um, they are, they're both the same size and the boxes are slightly different. This is slightly smaller, which is the fake one. And you can see it all ashy and all that, but that's, you know, don't, don't really pay attention to the ash. What I can say is, look at the look at this box right here. How the box sits on that like that. This box sits differently. The, um, the elephant print is different. The top comes lower on the on the retail one. The cop, The top doesn't come down the same on the fake and you see this one got a ring which the retails don't got a ring all right so it's a lot of differences even the font the numbers right here are totally different different size um also as well as the rest of the tag everything is different this one got this price tag this one doesn't it's just a whole lot of differences all right so that alone right there you know they could put it in the real box so we can get into it inside the box nothing really to look at it's red um this one has numbers on that side. This one has numbers right there too as well. The numbers are bold, bolder on the fake. See how um, nice and fine on the retail. The paper, paper, totally different. This is more like a see-through. More of a clear, this is a dark gray pattern on there. You can see that clearly. Fake, um, okay, we got receipts and all that right here. We got receipts, but we don't need receipts. You know they retail. You know they retail. Retail gang, you heard? But let's get into it. Let's take these fake ones out. I can show you a little 360 of the real and the fake right quick. Let me zoom in. Whoa. Show y'all a little 360. Retails, this is how they supposed to look. Boom. Boom. All right. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, Yeah, when these dropped though, a lot of people didn't, it wasn't messing with the quality. People was hating on them. I love them still. It don't matter to me. They fire. And then these are the fake. All right, the first thing you can notice, right? It's the first thing you notice is the elephant print. This is like white, the other one was gray. So without even putting them side by side, you can see the difference. You know, I don't know if you could People could finesse and paint it gray. I don't know. But let's keep the retail on the left like we usually do. Keep the fake on the right. And then we're going to get into these differences right quick. All right. As you can see, like I said, this one is gray. This one is white. This elephant print is cut is lower. Like people would rather have. And this one is higher. The back heel tab. This one is white still. These are retail. It's dead stock. And this one's yellow. Like it's vintage. <laughs> For some reason, but all right. So the Nike also is a little, it's closer. It's got more space in between those eyes like that. You can see more space. Um, it even got more space underneath the K right there. I think the air is more bold on the fake ones than the retail ones. You can definitely feel the suede on the retail on here. Not, not really. Even though somebody can hit it with sandpaper or whatever. But the red right here, you can see it's a different red. Darker red. On the Fufu. 
brighter red on the retail. All right now, I don't know if this. It might be better batches. I don't know. I don't. I didn't have. I haven't seen really too much fix of these shoes. So, if uh, you've seen some better one that you want me to compare, whatever, let me know in the comment section. Like I said, man, hit me up on IG. We could talk it out. We could um, try to bring you the content you need, content you want. All right. Besides that, um, see the height of the shoe. The height of the shoe seems to be on point. All right. So it is the same size. Paint on the midsole is kind of different. You can see the orange peel is more smooth on the fake. Or you can see the brush strokes and all that on the retail. So that's the difference right there. Um, the leather right here on this panel is soft and you can feel like it's real leather. This right here feels like it's pleather. It doesn't feel right, it doesn't feel the same. So that's the difference right there. The height of it, I think is uh, also different. You know, this one's higher. That could that could vary too, retail to retail. So, but clearly, the biggest is the gray. You don't even really got to get too much into the shoe. All right, you can see more of the red on the outside of the tongue. And this, you could barely see the red on the outside of the tongue. You know what I mean, jump man look pretty decent. Yeah, jump man look pretty decent. Um, let's take a look at the toe box. You gotta look at this shoe for that. Put it side by side. Toe box. That looks um surprisingly looks pretty accurate. You know, um slightly different, but it looks pretty pretty spot on, look pretty good. Not gonna lie. Yeah, I, I think if the leather was better, because even though the leather they said was bad on these, it's still better than these. You know what I mean? Just because it's more tumble doesn't mean it's better though. So, I mean, who knows? Who knows? But this one is a softer leather. I, it's funny because I guess this one got the looks that people want, but this one feels softer. It feels better. I do like the feel of this leather better than the ones, than the retail. It feels like super stiff. I feel like these will crease up crazy. Um, I should be rocking these soon though, because I mean, I had it for a minute, didn't even rock them yet. I got to. <laughs> Definitely got to start rocking the shoes. Um, let me see. And um, put the, take the retail. All right, the red from right here. Red, uh, they look pretty. Look a little maybe a little darker on the fake, right? Maybe a tad bit darker. Let's take a look at the outsole. Even the bubble. The bubble look more clear on the fake but it got a different shape to it a little different shape it's got like a curve on it um the fake does not right also on this side you can see like it goes from kind of like bigger to small this one it does it too actually but you can see like glue or something on the bubble here you do not it's just a little foggy because it's old and really about it man we don't really got to get into the shoe the tongue feels softer on the on the retail the tongue is better better leather on the on the retail this one comes with a hang tag the, this particular fake did not come with a hang tag the stitching stitching look pretty decent on the on the fake but um you know retail is retail you can see the stitching right there Look at this right here, it's stitching on both of them. All right, and the, 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 what's surprising to me though is the cut of the elephant print, not not how it looks, but the white. But the cut of it is actually pretty, pretty nice. Not gonna lie. Like look at look at the um, difference between my left and right pair on the elephant print. Elephant print is always gonna be different, always. You feel me? So left to right, different retail pairs is gonna look a lot different. So the elephant print to me looks very good on here to be surprised. It's just not the right color. So that right there, my friend, you'll be able to tell if it's real or fake. I don't, you don't even gotta hit it with the black light for real. You feel me? But if you want me to, I got ya. All right, right quick. The fake pair, you do not see any guidelines. Oh yeah, you do. Okay, you don't see no guidelines on the whole shoe. Right, but I'm gonna show, except for the front. So I'm gonna show you what guidelines are. The whole shoe look clean. Let's check, 
behind the tab. That's usually where they have guidelines. Yep. And I'm correct. Right there behind the tab, you can see those lines. Those are called guidelines. You can only see them under the black light. And right here on the front, you can see them right there, which is not bad. I thought it would have been like going crazy. But you see how this one, <laughs> you see all the glue stains on this one though. But yeah, there's no guidelines. You can see the red right here glowing though, like neon. This one is not. So yeah, I knew it was a different color red. Um, like I said, sometimes black light will help you, sometimes it doesn't. You can see the stitching glowing. The stitching is not glowing um, on this one, on the back heel tab. It's not glowing like that. If it is, this one is like really, really intense. Double stitching. But yeah, that's about it. That's all we got to get into. I mean, it's not really that big of a deal. They are different. You can see it quickly. Um, yeah, man. You already snow the vibes, man. If you like my content, subscribe to the channel. Uh, love y'all. Thanks for rocking with your boy. You feel me? The love is real. You know I love y'all back, man. At the end of the day, rock what you like, not because it's hype. Stand out and never blend in. Highlight me till next time. You heard? 100.